Haryom Taksa. Hey everyone, today we are here at Murdeshwara Temple, Murdeshwara in Uttara Karnataka. The temple we see today was built in the 16th century by a local chieftain named Tuluwa King. Later, the temple was renovated and expanded by several rulers including the Vijayanagara Empire, the Keladi Nayakas and the Wadiyar dynasty. Today, the Murdeshwara temple is a significant pilgrimage site for devotees of Lord Shiva who come here to offer prayers and seek blessings. The temple complex also includes a 20-storied Gopura, the second tallest Gopura in the world and a 123 feet tall statue of Lord Shiva which is a major attraction for visitors. Murdeshwara temple has a close connection with Gokarna temple. You want to know how? According to legend, the temple was built on the site where Lord Shiva appeared before Ravana the demon king of Lanka. Ravana was a devout follower of Lord Shiva and wanted to take him to Lanka. Lord Shiva appeared before Ravana at this spot and gave him an Atmalinga, a powerful lingam that represents the divine essence of Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva instructed Ravana to take the Atmalinga to Lanka but on the condition that it should not be placed on the ground until it reaches its final destination. If it were to be placed on the ground, it would remain there forever. Ravana, eager to take the Atmalinga to Lanka, decided to perform his evening prayers on the way at Gokarna. Lord Ganesha, in the disguise of a young Brahmin boy, appeared before Ravana and offered to hold the Atmalinga while he performed his prayers. Ravana agreed and handed over the Atmalinga to the boy. But the boy placed the Atmalinga on the ground, making it impossible for Ravana to move it. This enraged Ravana and he tried to uproot the Lingam from the ground, breaking it into several pieces. The pieces of the Atmalinga fell at different places across India and the one that fell in Murdeshwar is believed to have given rise to the temple. In the 18th floor of the Gopura, there is a sky deck which allows us to see Murdeshwara in the bird's eye. Now we are looking at the second tallest Shiva statue in the world. Under the Shiva statue, there is a passage which leads to a cave which has beautiful sculptures narrating the stories of Shiva in Murdeshwara. I'd only like to show you a glance here for the rest. Go check it out yourself. At night, Murdeshwara will be sparkling by the lights and I'd prefer a stay here to enjoy the divinity of Lord Shiva. yummy breakfast that was provided at the Bhojanashala, the food house. Every day the Bhojanashala provides breakfast and lunch for hundreds of devotees. Shopping at Murdeshwara is one more attraction. Good quality clothes are available at very cheap price. And here we are done with some shopping. From the beach, if we take a boat ride, we can land on Netrani Island which has water activities and is equally beautiful. From here, you can even plan trips to Gokarna, Honavar, Yana Caves and much more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for many more travel vlogs. Om Namah Shivaya.